Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do a quick video showing how to hold larger objects in a milling vise. Now everyone knows how to hold them like this, but did you know that you can take the vise jaws off and move them to the outboard position? Meaning you can move one out here and this one over to this side of the vise. Uh, that allows you to clamp something much, much larger. Uh, in this case I'm going to be clamping something that's about 11 and a half inches square. This is a Kurt D675, which means that normally with the jaws all the way open, you can hold something that's seven and a half inches in uh, width. With the jaws in the outboard position, I can actually hold something that's uh, about 16 inches from over here to the back of the movable jaw. Now, anytime you take the vice jaws off, you want to make sure that you clean them thoroughly. I've got a little tool that I made for getting the jaws loose quickly. So I've already used my Allen wrench to loosen up these bolts. And then this is just a 3 8 hex on the end of a piece of one inch stock that I kind of cut these flutes in. Real easy to make. Um, I lightened it up a bit. I made this out of steel, which is probably a little heavier than I need to be. I've seen other people who just uh, knurl a piece and then press in a cut off piece of hex key. And that works great too. You're not putting a ton of force on this. So again, you want to make sure that your vice jaw is nice and clean. Same thing with the back side here. So here we go. I've got a piece of quarter inch plate that's 11 and a half inches square and I'm holding it in my Kurt milling vise. Somebody always asks what it is that I'm making, so uh, this happens to be a cutting table for a 4x6 bandsaw, one of the little horizontal vertical bandsaws, and uh, I just need to go ahead and put the mounting holes. I've done everything else to it that I need to do. I cut the slit actually on a bandsaw there at work, uh, one of the marble saws that has a hydraulic table feed, um, so it's nice and straight and uh, fits the blade perfectly. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please consider hitting the like and the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.